Good morning, Barton Buffaloes. Welcome to KBuff News. I'm Miss Cardenas. And I'm Miss Lyons. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Remember to be heard this week because your teachers will be selecting new Buffaloes of the Week, and it might be you. We know we have some buffaloes celebrating their birthday today. And from us to you, we wish you a very happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños a todos. for the pledges and join us for a moment of silence. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. Today is Motivational Monday. And here is um, our quote. Writing is good. Thinking is better. Cleverness is good. Patience is better. So that is a great quote to remember now that you're back here on campus for some of you and for those of you that are also at home. He's one of the most influential voices of modern theater. Welcome to this mini Fantastic Facts. And today we're talking about Lin-Manuel Miranda. Man, I keep trying to get tickets to Hamilton, but I keep missing my shot. And yes, that pun was intentional. <sighs> Very clever, Noah. He certainly made education fun with Hamilton. And that's not surprising. Did you know that Miranda was an English teacher before becoming a household name? Wow, I never would have missed a day of English class if he was my teacher. I wonder if he ever rapped while reading aloud to his class. Well, maybe. In addition to teaching at his old high school, Miranda also wrote a column and restaurant reviews for the Manhattan Times. Who would have guessed how far he'd go? Speaking of which, did you know that Miranda wrote How Far I'll Go from Moana? He also contributed to the songs You're Welcome, Shiny, where You Are, and various others. Really? Then he went even farther than I thought! His work on the music for Moana earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Actually, Miranda is only an Oscar away from getting a PGOT. A P-what? A PGOT is an acronym for when somebody wins a Pulitzer Prize, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. Oh, I see. P-E-G-O-T. PGOT. He currently has four of those awards on his shelf. If he can just win that Oscar, Miranda will become the third PGOT recipient ever, right after Richard Rogers and Marvin Hamlish. In that case, he should write more songs for movies. I can't wait! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Junior Mojo for more funny, fulfilling, and fantastic facts. Hey, Hamilton tickets just went on sale again. Oh, wait, no, they just sold out. Welcome to week seven of remote learning. We know you will do great things this week in your Zooms. Keep being great digital learners. Have a great day of distance learning and also have a great day for those of you here on campus. Remember to be heard. Helpful, excellent, respectful, and determined. Have an excellent day, friends. Bye.